Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious fried whiting sandwich. This recipe right here, it's amazing. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients and you know, you make a Gina Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my fried whiting sandwich before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. Of course, you're going to need some whiting fish. Now, I was able to find this whiting here at Walmart in the frozen section. So, of course, we had to let it thaw out for a little while. It's nice and thawed out. And I've washed it off with just a tad bit of lemon, salt, and cold water. And then I've pat it dry. It does have the skin on it. Okay? You will need a nice, fresh tomato. And you're going to also need some greens. So, we have some beautiful green leaf lettuce here that I will be washing off and we'll use this. And you're gonna need some cornmeal, okay? And then you wanna figure out what type of bread would you like to use for your fish sandwich. We're gonna use some Pepperidge Farmhouse potato bread. It's soft, it's hearty, it's gonna be perfect for this fish. And you're gonna need a couple of spices so you can spice everything up. Here's what you need this way. You will need some tartar sauce. Can't have a fish sandwich Gina Young style without the tartar sauce and you will need hot sauce. Garlic powder, Old Bay seasoning, black pepper salt, and a little bit of parsley. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple yet so tasty recipe. Okay, everyone, so behind me on the stove, I have a large skillet with a little bit of vegetable oil in there. We're gonna get that oil nice and hot and that's what we're gonna fry our fish in. But it's very important that you have that oil hot, okay? Because if you don't, your fish won't fry up right. You won't get that golden brown crispiness that we all love when you think of fried fish. Now, let's take this time to season up our beautiful whiting. Let me know in the comment section below if you love whiting and that's a fish that you grew up on. This is definitely the fish that I grew up on. All right, let's go in. How much do I have? Oh, it's, it's in there. Come on out. <laughs> We're gonna use this. Old Bay seasoning is going to give the fish an amazing flavor. Trust me when I tell you this. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. All right, I'm going to put a nice amount of Old Bay on there. I love the flavor that it gives to seafood. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're going to season up with a little bit of garlic powder. Don't be afraid to season. Those of you, there's a lot of you, you're afraid to season, and then you wonder, why Why does my food taste flavorless? It's because you need a little bit more seasoning. Don't be afraid to season. Look at that. Black pepper, just like so, and the fish is so thin, you don't need to season the other side. If you wanted to, you can, and also... If you wanted to, you can take the skin off. But here at the Young's house, we love that nice, crispy, golden brown skin. It tastes better. <laughs> really, it does. Okay, so let's season with salt. Just like this, and what we're gonna do, like I do with my meats, we're gonna let these seasonings kind of seep down into this gorgeous seafood for about 12 minutes before we even start to fry it. As we have so much fun in here recording, mm. okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and we let the spices seep down into this beautiful fish for about 12 minutes. The oil is nice and hot. Now's the perfect time to coat your fish with the yellow cornmeal. And I've even seen people use white cornmeal if you wanted to. You can use bread crumbs. You could use cracker crumbs. Possibilities are endless. When honestly, when you think about frying fish, and then nowadays they have the, um, you know how they have the fish fry. Those fish fries are delicious. But every time I fry fish, I kind of want to stick to, you know, like like the old school way and just use the yellow cornmeal. It gives me that crispiness, crispiness <laughs> that I'm looking for, and I'm always satisfied. So I always turn back to using that yellow cornmeal. Make sure that even the skin is nice and coated, just like so. And then we'll make our way over to the stove and get this in the oil. 
We have some nice hot oil that has been heating up and I'm using like a medium, medium high heat. Okay, and so what I like to do, I'm gonna give it a nice shake. Let's get it into the pan and you should hear and see that sizzle. Now, this is the skin side up. I like to do the skin side up, okay? And I like to put the flesh part down into the pan. Make sure you have a large enough pan. And if you don't have a large enough pan, what I highly suggest is that you just do a couple batches. It's okay, just take your time. And what I love about this fish here is even after it sits for a while, uh, it's still good. It's still good the next day. It's good to heat up for the morning and the breakfast time. You know, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so what we're looking for, let's wait until this gets nice, beautiful, and golden brown, and you'll know because the fish will give you a little hint. You'll start to see a beautiful golden brown ring around the bottom side, and then we'll flip it over just like so. While our fish is cooking, let's go ahead and take this time. We're gonna wash off the lettuce. Always wash your veggies off. You wanna wash off the pesticides, and you know, you know, who's ne uh, you never know who's handled your veggies before you brought them home. So we've washed off the tomato. I still gotta wash that lettuce. What we're gonna do, look at that beautiful tomato. Oh my goodness, listen here. You wanna cut it not too thin, you know, but then not too thick. I'm gonna use one sandwich with tomatoes. I don't want tomatoes on mine. When I think of the perfect fish sandwich, let's talk about this really quickly. This is a big part of my childhood. So my dad had a favorite fish place here in Ohio that he would take me when I was younger. And he would take me there often. And it was a spot that me and him would go and we would just sit in the car, we would order, we would go inside of this fresh seafood place and you would see all of the seafood packed in ice and I just loved going in there. And my dad would pick out what he wanted and he would always say, Give me that haddock right there. And so you would get to see them scale the fish. You would get to see them batter it and fry it up. And then they would put it on white bread. Listen here. This had to be the best fried fish sandwich that I've ever had in my life. But what he would get on it, he would say a little bit of tartar sauce and hot sauce and they would slap that hot fish on that bread. We would go out in the parking lot, sit in the car, and we would eat our fish sandwich. And that is one of my favorite memories of me and my dad eating the best fish sandwich in the world. So I've had a chance to wash off my leaf lettuce. Okay, and what we're gonna do is, I find when you have a lettuce like this, it's best to just go in right here and pinch off that vein. Pinch off that vein because you don't want it, it's too hard. Just get rid of it, okay? And then your lettuce can lay nice and flat onto your bread, okay? I, I always do that. And sometimes even when I make a salad, I get rid of this part right here. Like you don't need it. <laughs> okay, so we have our washed lettuce that we're gonna put on one of our sandwiches. And we have our tomatoes. You cannot have tomatoes on any sandwich without salt and pepper in it. Don't let anyone tell you, just put it on their plate. <laughs> you see, Gina Young said you have to season it. Absolutely. Now, as far as the fish market, let's talk about it, guys, because it, it really brings back so many memories. The fish market, it has closed since, but... What's nice is when I first met my husband, I was able to take him to this fish place and share with him the memory of one of my favorite memories of eating these fish sandwiches um, from this place. So when we met, I took him there. He was able to try the fish sandwich a couple of times and he loved it. And I was so happy to be able to share that memory with him before they closed. Take a look at our fish. Take a look at the fish. We got some beautiful frying going on, but we don't quite see that golden brown color. You're just starting to see it right there. But when you can really see it, that's your clue to give it a nice turnover. When I come back, we'll turn that fish over and I'll show you what to do next. Now you can finally see 
that golden brown crispiness. You can see it. See how you can see it? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this over and you remember that this oil is something hot. So be careful, okay? Just like so. Now we're turning it over to the skin side. All right, this one not quite done. This one's not quite done, but this one here, nice and crispy. Oh, girl, listen here. I'm gonna have some fish tonight, you hear me? I'm gonna have some fish tonight, Gina Young style. Look at that right there. It's done, it's crispy, and that fish is gonna be so tender in the inside. And remember, put you some good seasoning on there so it can be nice and flavorful. Okay, so this is done. When we come back, you're gonna meet me over at the island. We're gonna assemble our sandwich. I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style, fried whiting fish, Make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoy this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Jeannie Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's say a quick prayer so you all can taste this sandwich. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you for another beautiful day today. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night, your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind that devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Let's go ahead and make this sandwich and we're going to make it how I used to eat it when I was a child. Now, I know this isn't haddock. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but that's okay. Go on with the tartar sauce. This is whiting and I love whiting. Tartar sauce, only on one piece, but put a nice amount on there. Oh, girl, you starting something. Look at that. Look at that baby right there. Get on there. Mm -hmm. And this one right here, look at that beautiful, Get on there. Oh, no need to cut the fish. Let it hang off the bread like that. Oh, <laughs> and then here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's start something. All right, a little bit of hot sauce. Oh, bringing back childhood memories. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give you a bite. I'm gonna give you a nice bite in this potato bread. My goodness, this is really gonna take it home. Look at that right there. Come on, take a bite. Take a bite, let me know what you think. And as always, God bless. Thank you all for watching. Good night.